You're planning something, a workshop, a class, a meeting, or maybe a change initiative. And you want the people to do something differently afterwards. But will your agenda actually help getting the people to do those things differently afterwards? Let's look at what we want them to do and create our agenda based on that, using the do-feel-know tool. Let's say we are planning a class in Agile Ways of Working. And after the class, we want our participants to try something from the Agile Toolbox in their work and promote Agile Ways of Working at their place and recommend the class to others and connect with you. These are the actions we want to see, the effect or outcome if you want. Now, people don't just go out and do things differently if they don't feel right about it. So let's take a moment to see what we need them to feel to do those four things. Well, they need to feel that an agile tool will help them, that agile ways of working are actually good for them as an organization, that this class really gave value for their time spent, and that they want to stay connected with you. Now we're getting somewhere. We know what we want to achieve and how the participants need to feel to do that. Now it is time to see what knowledge we have to give them for them to do and feel those things. So in this case, they need to know what Agile is, what the benefits are of working Agile, a few Agile tools, and how they can use them in their work themselves. That other companies similar to them are benefiting from Agile ways of working. That this class will be held more times and where to get that information. And how to connect with you as a teacher on LinkedIn or such. There it is. So if it's hard to see connections for each thing, you can always make visual connections and make sure you don't leave one behind. Now, with this information, we can put together an agenda that is very accurate. And it helps us prioritize what is most important when we can't fit all into the agenda. We always have the introduction and the outro, of course. And in between, we now match our knows and feels, so we cover them but add nothing else unless we have time for it. In this case, we'll bring what is Agile and the benefits of Agile and how Agile helps others like us. And we will learn a few Agile tools that we can use and we will have a challenge to try something new next week and some information about the coming Agile classes and also how to contact me as a teacher. We might have thought that it could be a good idea to teach about the Agile history, but now we see that This doesn't really help us achieve the outcome, so we delete it. That's it. As easy as that. Try it when planning your next meeting or workshop. You will likely get more effect out of that meeting.